everyone, Alan here. Uh, I know you've been eagerly waiting for this next video. Uh, I am going to try a new technique that I've seen done by several artists, uh, including my wife, Christina. Um, I've seen Marcy also do this, and it's called the tornado technique. So what we're going to start with is a 11 by 14 canvas. Uh, colors choices that I'm going to use is Creative Inspirations Black with silicone. All these paints do have silicone. I'm going to use Blix Deep Violet, Soho Cad Yellow, Artist Lofts Metallic Cobalt Blue Hue, Soho's Brilliant Red, Soho Cad Orange and Soho Crimson. I've taken my cup, I've already uh, pre-sprayed it with silicone and I'm going to go ahead and put my paint in. I'm going to be doing two layers of the paint. Starting with the black, then the black deep violet. The Soho Cad Yellow. You can use a fair amount of paint. The Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. Soho's Brilliant Red. Then the Soho Cad Orange. And Soho Crimson Red. I'm going to do two layers of this. So I'm going to go with the black again. The Deep Violet. The Cad Yellow. Artist Loft's Metallic Blue. The Brilliant Red from Soho. The Cad Orange. And finally, the Crimson from Soho. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start out, I'm going to pinch my cup so I have an, almost like a funnel pour. I'm going to start at one end come down, pause for a moment, and then go back up and see what kind of effect we get.
we've got what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch this out what I want to do is try to maintain this upper ring as much as possible so I'm going to be stretching this way and this way on the bottom on these this part of the canvas so this is going to go from top to bottom try not to lose too much in the design not the kind of effect I was expecting. I will have to go back to the teachers and see what went wrong with this. Still got some crazy color designs to it. cells are really opening up uh, where that so uh, where the uh, cad yellow is up in this area here now I didn't use any base paint so the paints gonna flow a little a little more uneven as I stretch it. See if I can get this off without losing too much of that yellow. Need to take a look at it real quick. Okay, so just looking at this, I've I've lost the the tornado effect that I was looking to get from that, but I still have an opportunity to uh, save this uh, this piece of work. And so what I'm going to do is I've got some extra paint that I'm going to pour along the top here just to give it an area or some paint to make it flow a little better. All I do is try to give it an opportunity to flow in this direction. Here on 
this corner too. Because most of my paint is on the bottom of the canvas down in this area here. And because I didn't use any base paint, uh, it's going to be flowing against just the, the gessoed, pre gessoed canvas. Let's see what we can do with this. Those of you that may be new at this, don't forget your cuppy hands. lost all my pretty cells that I had yellow cells up in the upper part of the canvas but I've created some pretty neat ones up in this area here from the extra paint that I poured on I pretty much lost the design of the tornado so I'm gonna just pour this down tilt it down to cover the canvas those crazy cells that I had up in this area here are appearing here as I tilted it that way. I'm going to lose some of this as the paint comes down this way. But I'm okay with that. This may be what some artists call happy accidents. I can hear Allie in the background saying, don't forget your cuppy hand. And of course, at the inopportune time while I'm doing this video, my work phone is going off. So I've totally lost the original design I was going for. Just clean up a little, we'll torch it. I'll touch up my edges. Again, the torch is to get some of the air bubbles that may be in, mixed in the paint. Touch up my edges.
And if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. So the initial design that I was going for, for uh, I completely lost. Again, I will go back to my coach and mentor to uh, discuss what I did wrong. But overall, I'm pretty happy with what came out. Again, touch up those edges. One thing that uh, Christine and I both agree on is we don't like uh, the, the blank edges of the canvas. We like that to be covered with paint if your entire canvas is covered. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm going to wipe my underneath, get that excess paint off before I move it to the drying rack. And I'll give you a quick close-up. Again, I was looking f to get the tornado effect, um, which did not happen with that. We have a conglomeration of uh, colors here, but still a kind of a, a neat design. And this will change as it sits on the drying rack, as the uh, paint dries you'll see some of the other colors come up through. Uh, I'm anticipating, um, as you can see, this black here. I like that design right there. I wish I could have had that spread out a little more through the canvas, but um, we'll see what it looks like in a couple days after it's dry. Um, if you haven't already, uh, please hit the subscribe button below. Click like and share. Check out the Amazon shop for supplies. Uh, check out my wife's channel for tutorials and links to the shops. Uh, join us every Monday night. We do a live uh, tutorial, questions and answer session. Also do live paint pouring starting 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we have our auction that will be starting Sunday night, December 9th at 7 p.m. Uh, join us on Christina's channel. Um, links are below. And I'd just like to say hip, uh, thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Thank you.